we're going to get into, and I'm talking briefly because they don't deserve a ton of time, <laughs> this Wemby Bull Bull. I'm going to call it a debacle, bro. It's just y'all are showing that y'all do not watch basketball like that, bro. With that being said, for those of y'all that didn't see it, the Spurs played a game on TNT against the Suns. And after the game ended, and they won, they won that game, uh, I think what, they, they were down by like 20 something and came all the way back. Uh, Wemby had a put back dunk and then they stole the ball from Katie in the corner um, and they hit another shot to take. I think they led for the last one second. That was the last time they had, the only time they led in the entire game. It was the last like 1.2 seconds. After the game, Shaq said that he had to call out Reggie Miller because Reggie Miller said he had never seen somebody like Victor Wembyama before. And Shaq said he was lying. Because of Bull Bull. Bro, what are we talking about, bro? I am going to, I'm looking, I have the timer set up right now. I'm not spending more than three to four minutes on this topic because it does not deserve that much time because it's it's really egregious to say. And it shows that like you're taking the idea of what Bull Bull could be. And like you're trying, like that's not what he really is, because the arguments that people have come out with and been like, oh, you know, he just he needs time, he needs the opportunity. Wemby's coming in, he's gonna get all the opportunity, all the shots. And we're not gonna sit up here and act like Bowl Bowl didn't start 38 games last year in Orlando, played like 27 minutes a night. That's not opportunity a whole season. He fell out of the rotation for a team that did not make the play in tournament. And it's like, I, and I, I really don't want to come off like, and I feel like that's the sad part of all, all of this is like Bull Bull is about to catch so much crazy like strays and hate. And I just like, it's unfortunate. And I hope that he can one day really piece it together because he does has the unicorn like skill set to be a 7 2 guy who can handle a little bit, you know, can space the floor, you know. That is not what Wemby is right now today. In his five games that he's played as a rookie, Bobo is a career 29% three-point shooter. Right now, I think Wimby is shooting like 31% from three. I think, uh, was it, Bobo's career high is 26. Wimby had 26 in the first three quarters mm -hmm. in that second game against the Suns and finished with 38. They played the Suns back-to-back -back games. The Suns are shorthanded right now. People are injured. No Bradley Beal. No Devin Booker. Bull Bull got DMPs in both of the games <laughs> against Wemby. Like, come on, bro. We're just being purposefully ignorant. Facts. And some, I don't know. Some people might be doing it just out of, you know, you want to be different. You want you. Everybody feels, you know, one way about somebody. You got to have a different opinion. Whatever the case may be. They are not remotely close to the same player on the defensive side of the ball. At the pace that Wemby is on right now, he'll have more career blocks than Bull Bull by January. <laughs> Man, it's not even a debate, bro. It's just this topic is so dumb and it's so hilarious. And it makes it worse that Shaq started it. Like, of all people, like in the like he him saying that really started a debate on Twitter. And people yeah. are really like coming out of the woodworks trying to agree with him. And they're going through, and, you know, he never had opportunity. Bo Bo, if you Bo Bo had the, a coach that supported him, like Pop supports Wemby, we could be seeing this. No, bro. bro that's, that's such a, bro, that argument to me, like, bro, like, it doesn't, what do, do y'all think stuff is just handed to you? Like, do you think, right. like, bro, all right, look, let, let's just put it this way, right? If I right, just say in this in this world, say let's say Bowl Bowl is just as good as Wimby. They're the same player, the same exact player, like to the T, def defense, offense, everything. Do you think like multiple coaches are just looking at that player on the bench and be like, nah, bro, I we just don't like you. We're just not gonna play you. Even though you could be you could impact this game as much as Wimby's doing right now. Right. We're just not gonna play you just because we don't like you. What do you think people you think NBA just has something out for Bowl Bowl that like right. now nah, he's actually a superstar? We just don't like we just don't want to play him. He's just not that guy that I think he is, bro. Thank you. Like, what are we talking about? If he was that guy, he would get minutes. And it's not even saying like he would start, like, 
He would get quad, like he would be in the rotation, heavy key player. He doesn't even get any, like zero minutes. DMP. DNP did not play. Like, like what do we talk? If he was, if he was half as good as Wimby is, he would get some sort of burn. He gets zero burn. Like, what are we talking about, bro? And it's like, yeah, it sounds like unnecessary hate, but it's because he gets unnecessary love, unnecessary like. Like, like, bro, people really think this guy's like a superstar, bro. Just because he is tall, he has shows like a little bit of flashes. Absolutely. At the end of the day, you have to put it all together, bro. Like, right. it's these little flashes here and there is not going to cut it. Like, what are we talking about? This guy is not blacklisted from the NBA. Like, he's not just, we're just going to not play him just because. He just, he doesn't, he didn't earn the minutes. All right. He he had opportunities in Denver and I, but look I, I, outside with that he just wouldn't have fit the timeline with that roster right now so that's a fair argument if we just was talking about his time in Denver right they don't they, they don't have time to like develop a guy like that right right Orlando got time I promise you they have time that whole team is young and the spots they got the a- roster spots they got the minutes they got they got everything bro right. <laughs> Like, come on now. You think that a team that didn't make the plan is just willingly going to give up a guy that y'all are trying to say is Wemby-level talent? I'm looking at fans of, like, seven different franchises who are still heartbroken that the lottery balls did not bounce their way to get Wemby. But you're telling me that the Orlando Magic willingly just didn't re-sign a player who who's on that, supposedly, in y'all's mind, is on the same level. The same player. We've seen it before. He's just the same guy. It's a dumb argument, bro. It makes it like it like the argument literally is, yeah, bro. Wimby just didn't have a chance. Or not Wimby. Bowl just doesn't have a chance. Like they just don't like him. That, that's that's to me. That's what it sounds like. Y'all are like, yeah, the NBA just doesn't like him for some. If reason. you're saying that, you're just telling me that you did not watch basketball like that last year, bro. Right. And, and and what's crazy to me is like you. It don't even have to be complicated, bro. If you don't even watch, you can look at the 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 stats. Bro, he played in like 70 games last year. And it's not like little spot minutes here and there. He averaged like 25 plus minutes a game. There was a stint at the beginning of the year in Orlando. He started like 38 games last year. Like I said, the beginning part of the year, the shots were falling at a pretty good clip. He was decently efficient. It was looking like, oh, shoot, Bull Bull might have started to put it together a little bit. The shot stopped falling. He's not really the defensive player that people try to make him out to be. He gets blown. He cannot be on the perimeter at all. He cannot switch on to anybody. He's not this elite rim protector, even though he's seven foot two. So if you're not being, if you're not able to knock down shots because he's essentially just a stretch big, he's not an interior force on the offensive side of the ball. If that shot is not falling and you're a negative on the defensive side of the ball, Coaches cannot play you. Like, it's just as simple as that. And like I said, the, the last thing I'll say about it is I really do hope that Bobo Bo can fully piece together the offense and get it to a point where it's consistent. And he can be a role player for a team, you know, consistently someday and have a carved out role. That's just not right now. And to say that he just needs the opportunity to do what Wemby is doing, when Wemby almost just put up 40 in his fifth game, when he's averaging wild defensive numbers right now, for even forget the stats. Look with your eyes, bro. We've never seen what he's doing, bro. I've yeah. never seen a player do some of this stuff. He's seven foot four and hit a jab step step back three over Drew Eubanks. Smooth, fluid, look like a guard, but he's he got an eight foot nine wingspan, bro. Like we're just y'all are willfully just trying to be different, and it's. Stupid. It's a waste of time, bro. I don't listen to man. I hope for one day I have people ride for me as hard as people ride for Bull Bull, man. Bro, do you remember when we put out the video about that? And dudes are literally in the comments at our head, like he's really about to beat us. He about to be the X Factor for Phoenix. Bro, this guy, this guy literally said, Bro, I'm you're just trying to get clicks off of Bull Bull. I said, Bro, what? I said, Bro, we were trying to get clicks. I would say Stephen Curry stinks, Bron right. did like. I don't need clicks. I'm talking about the goat debate. Why not like, go bo if I'm like, who do we talk? Like, bro, what are we talking about? And like, it it pains me the fact that like it's Shaq leading this is because it's like, bro, what are you talking about? Like, like you're too you're t- you're too good of a player to not understand the difference between Wimby and Bo Bo, bro. Just stop. Right. Unless you just have not watched Bo Bo, which is fine. There's plenty of times where you clearly admitted that you didn't watch certain players. 
Like, come on, bro. We we can't do this, bro. Nah, not you. We cannot do this. But All right, it, it needs to stop. There's too many people that will just blindfully take something like that and run with it. And yeah, there's exactly. a lot of people that did. So, like I said, I ain't spending I'm looking at the clock. I was already like seven minutes. So I'm cutting it off there because I'm not mm-hmm. giving this no more air time than it needs to. Cause I really just couldn't believe what I was seeing. Um, because bro, he, he didn't play. He played against one B and he did not play two games back to back. We don't gotta go no more than that, bro. Facts. 